South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem's office has announced the text of two bills that deal with abortion. On the night beat, Kettleland's Dan Santella takes a look at each one. Last September, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem signed an executive order that directed the State Department of Health to have rules in place banning telemedicine abortions. The draft of one piece of legislation announced today says it aims to ban telemedicine abortions. It says a medical abortion can only happen up to nine weeks after conception. Kristen Hayward, manager of advocacy and development in South Dakota with Planned Parenthood North Central States, says telemedicine abortion already doesn't happen. That is not something we do here and haven't done here. So I don't know why there is a need for legislation that is not something that uh, um, that we perform here at all because it is a requirement that a physician is in the room. On that legislation, Representative Tamara St. John, a Republican from Sisseton, says she is waiting for additional information. I really can't say on that one till we thoroughly go through it and hear the debate, the pros and the cons to it. The other draft legislation would ban abortion when a fetal heartbeat is detected. Hayward says not everyone knows they're pregnant at that point. The state is already so wildly restricted and now it's just another like level up. As a Native American person, when I was very young, I had a, a traditional woman in my family that told me that life is sacred. And that's really been my perspective when these bills come. Of course, there's considerations to it. You know, we have to look at how it's drafted. St. John says she intends to be a proponent of the fetal heartbeat legislation. So essentially, I am pro-life. And, uh, you know, my voting record does show that. But, uh, you know, when it comes down to reviewing a bill, you know, with any possible amendments to it, you know, it's Hard to say for sure, you know, if you're going to give that support or not. The heartbeat legislation as it is drafted would not include criminal penalties for the abortion, but it would allow someone to bring civil action against someone else. What concerns us at Planned Parenthood the most is this Texas style um, ban and this sort of vigilante uh, sort of way of dealing with what people don't know. I mean, how how does someone regulate if someone knows? that someone else has had an abortion. The two pieces of legislation are drafts. As of this evening, they do not have a number or a house of origin. We posted links to each with this story on KettleVan.com.